All right, we're good. We're good to go. So th today's a very exciting day for us because we are upgrading our security system in the van right here. Because as you know, um, van lifers generally are rather terrified of their whole house and life disappearing suddenly and not being able to find it um, as, as you do. So, and we're no exception. most popular request that we have from you guys is to reveal our security system all the little bits and pieces that keeps our van safe however we are rather cautious about revealing all of those to you know the white public because any thief then could find that information out then should they spot that this is the, the same van <laughs> then they would know exactly how to crack the code and enter and steal um, our, our house, uh, our belongings and our cats which is a very 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 big no-no. That being said we have installed some preventive measures in the van already and we have shared a lot of the options that are available to all of us uh, uh, in other videos which are linked in the description and in the cards here I don't know where it is I don't but some of these things include visual deterrence and ways to track the van or locate the van uh, should it be stolen uh, yep. however a big thing that we don't really have in the van is something to stop the van being driven away we do actually we hold on oh, never mind scratch that we do have something we actually have one of these however we don't think this is enough. And right on cue, we have uh, our uh, installation team coming. <laughs> Hi, Jaro. Hello. Hi. You okay? Nice to meet you, Hi, yeah. Hi. Hi, guys. Oh, I'm Polly. Uh, Hi, yeah. You're all right. right. I'm Sam. Hi, Sam. Hi, Polly. Hi, Hi. 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 Andre. Andre. Yeah. Andre is the technical yeah. specialist. <laughs> You get the best guy you could you could imagine for. So the guys installing our security system are here, and they're going to be tinkering away in the background. But in the meantime, where were we? The lock in your hand. The lock in my hand. Right. Yes. So we do technically have a measure that stops thieves driving away with the van if they do break in, which is one of these standard wheel locks and such, which we do use. But it is a little cumbersome because every single time that you park, even if you're just going into the shops and whatnot, you know, you have to get this, put the key in, put it on the steering wheel, then get out. And if you're only popping in for five minutes, usually you think, oh, no one's going to steal the van in that time. I'll just pop it in. And uh, full disclosure, I don't use this every time, which means that this security method is about as good as the one time you don't use it. Yeah, of, of course, the steering wheel, wheel, wheel log, the, the best thing about it is actually it's a bright yellow and it's a huge visual deterrent. So it's yeah. kind of dead obvious this van is protected except that they've gotten pretty good at breaking these this yeah. only what this only takes five minutes I think yeah so you know basically no matter what you do to your van security wise there's always gonna be a way to try and get around it and they're always if they're really determined they yes will manage to break into your van if you've got deadlocks they'll smash the windows if you've got window protection covers they'll smash through your skylight all that they'll drill through the door and open the door but you want to do as much as you can to make your van look as unappealing a target as possible. So visual deterrents like this and deadlocks and all of that are more visual deterrents than actual security measures sometimes. But the security system that we're having installed today is a mechanical lock that will stop the van from being driven forwards. The company here is called Fet Stop. So we are distributor of Bearlock brands in the, in the UK. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, yeah, so Bearlock as a product is been uh, created 30 years ago by uh, engineer Polish engineer in in Poznan in Poland, and now they they've been developing uh, mechanical immobilizers and cargo space securities for over 30 years. So would you be able to kind of in brief explain exactly what you're installing on the van, on yes. our van today? So what we're installing in the van is mechanical theft prevention system which is immobilizing transmission. So we're not affecting your gearbox, we're just immobilizing connection between the between the gear shifter and the gearbox itself. Mm -hmm. So we install our system in the middle and what it does, it stops you from using your transmission, your gear shifter while it's locked. You lock yes. your gear stick in a, any gear 
but usually in reverse? Yes, it has to be in reverse. Has it's to be the, in reverse. It's the technological uh, requirement. We okay. calibrate in the system during the installation into reverse. Okay. So there's, there's several reasons for it. One being, if you decide to drive the van of this size on reverse through the town, I guarantee it's going to be very <laughs> difficult. So that's why it's not in the first gear, because some people ask why not in the first? Because on the first you can put the hazards on and you can drive through the town mm -hmm. slowly, yeah. pre pretending that, you are, that you've are you got a damaged uh, yeah. vehicle. I would say we were very impressed by how dedicated you were to um, like redesigning the lock so it actually works. You went yeah. through a lot of revisions and you wanted to get it like spotless. Yeah, like. And, and because because you know we're never gonna be happy to install anything in in your vehicle especially because we do in camper vans most of the time we need to be sure everything is perfect mm -hmm. before it gets you know released to, to the market bell lock in you in europe exists like i said for 30 years and why it's not been before in uk you know that that <laughs> we have to redevelop every single lock for the right hand drive vehicle and that's why you guys been waiting for what over six months probably six, if, like if, that, if yeah. not more than that the key ones we have volkswagen group covered mm -hmm. which is transporters and crafters mm -hmm. we have the the trio we call it trio which is citroen relay fiat ducato and peugeot boxes mm -hmm. and we have now uh, mercedes sprinters and uh, crafters volkswagen crafters uh, up to the latest facelift generation. Nox is joining in. That's okay. Nox? She's a brave one. The van is slowly being dismantled. Yep, I could not guess that they will be this dismantled. <laughs> It doesn't get worse. No, yes, it's, don't worry. Uh, oh, that's it. There is no more <laughs> yeah. uh, to come out now. Yeah, but everything is looking very, very neat. Thank you. <laughs> so are you happy yeah. with that? Can I, I go home? <laughs> 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 because I'm running late, so... <laughs> well, nah, I, w I, I would like you to help me put it back together. <laughs> we will sort it out. Give us five minutes. <laughs> Excellent. I do like that the system is different because I haven't seen anything yeah. like this uh, uh, out there. Uh, which, like you said, it means that uh, the, the the kind of the would be thief wouldn't know how to handle it. Yes. Which is really really important. Um, and I, I I I do believe that you should have multiple security systems, like like layer them on top, and that kind of yes. increases the um, uh, the length of time somebody will struggle and hopefully give up. We've done a lot of review, uh, interviews with ex thieves, telling us exactly what you just said, how easy it is to break through some of the systems. And that's how we're learning about, because, you know, we not designing those locks, but we need to know how, how it works from the other side of the spectrum yes. as well. I look like a Polish thief anyway, so I, it's probably so easy for me to say, but, you know, I, I, I do try to, me and Andrew, we spend a lot of time trying to think like thieves, and then we realize we actually need to speak to some of them, yeah. uh, obviously, not the ones that are already doing it, but the ones that, that yeah. have some knowledge, from before that gives me more confidence that you've done that research yes um, uh, because th that's how i would do that it. was the first year before we even started the company we, yeah. we we wanted to know exactly whether this is a good idea to bring it in whether you would do the job is it is it expensive is it now because yet yeah, let's be honest it's not cheap system to have but uh, you will find prices on our website as well just the starting points but i think it's the value uh, ratio to the to the value of the vehicle is, is definitely very very good just say that's the best product on the market <laughs> yeah <laughs> Well, we'll probably. probably, like with some <laughs> yeah. very popular Tr company. tricky claims. <laughs> yeah, probably. What yes. are the risks to the, like, of it failing? Um, okay, so in the space of two years of us existing on the market, we installed about a thousand uh, systems already, and. The, the, the failure rate is absolutely zero at the moment. We didn't have, believe it or not, we didn't have a single warranty call that was caused by the system itself. Mm -hmm. System is absolutely maintenance free, mm -hmm. so there is no need for additional greasing to be done or anything like that. Say there's a problem with your gearbox, nothing to do with the system, and obviously your system attaches to the gear stick. If they need to try and remove or replace a part that's not to do with your system, 
I was going to say, how does that work with okay. mechanics and such? If you have to get remove the gearbox itself, our system shouldn't be in the way because okay. like I said, our system sits between gearbox and the transmission. But okay. if for any reason our system has to be removed, yeah. it's possible. Mechanic can do it with the right amount of time and the right tools. Yeah. But our system is permanently fitted. Just so you understand, mm -hmm. that's the original bolt that your shifter is fitted with. Yep. So you can just take a spanner and take it out. Yep. Yeah. And that's the shear bolt shear that before we it's sheared. fit in our <laughs> yeah. system. And so that's the tops that came yeah. out. Yeah. And that's what it looks so when that, it's and finished. It, yep. And that's when it's sheared, so you can't actually access it. Yeah. yeah. There you go, that's broken off. You can see the edges. Yeah. So no tool will be able to get through that. You basically have to drill through the entire bolt. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So, we're, we're nearly ready for, for the big reveal. Almost there. Almost there? How's the dash? Is it going back to you? So I hear that we're about 80% done. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what Jarrah said. Yeah, nearly there. <laughs> well, it's looking good. Like Hello, in. how are you doing? Oh, are you alright? You want to enjoy the camper oh, van? Oh, it's a dog this time. Oh, it's a dog? Yeah, it's a dog. Oh, hello. How are you doing? <whistles> He's looking for cat, definitely. <laughs> 21, I was uh, doing breakdance. So I've got a little bit of experience. Advantage. Yes. <laughs> so do this. <laughs> that. <laughs> all these things. Excellent. In the vehicle. You, you, you should go into the Olympics as a gymnast. Yes. Oh, <laughs> yes, they're gonna take me straight away. I also heard that I should be doing installations to lose a bit of this. <laughs> so oh, you need to squeeze in the van. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Jerry, Jerry you, you, you're short, so you, you can fit. Maybe yeah, I'm places. too wide though. I'm too round. <laughs> Lengthwise, yes. It's just the width is the problem. What about your beat? Ah, <laughs> uh, the stickers. Yes, mate. Oh, I do the talking. You're not gonna My get paid today. Is me. <laughs> <laughs> it's not gonna pay and get paid today. Okay. No bonus, no. <laughs> you go. See, I told you. Stickers. I, I keep get accused for not doing anything. Ah, oh. well, you're very good at well, talking. It's not accusation. It's true, actually. <laughs> That's my yeah. job. Right, uh, Jarrah is gonna do the highly technical job of sticking <laughs> stickers on our windows. Yeah, you're, you're being put to hard work today. Yeah. This is uh, the part of the installation that everybody wants to know about. Yes. So we're going to do a full and, tutorial and, right and here. Yeah, so we're <laughs> peeling one side of the sticker. Try to align it with the other letters. That's it. Uh, the highly technical sticker sticking tutorial yeah. this is but that's what's preventing the van from being stolen the most so it's, it's really important <laughs> excellent yeah. lovely work no, no bubbles probably, whatsoever probably, <laughs> probably looks better from the mm -hmm. other side there we are we are protected yes oh, it's officially been bear locked <laughs> see kitty nobody's gonna steal you now you're bear locked. You have no idea what's going on, do you? <laughs> Why are you holding me? Where's my mouse? You're leaving the uh, the van ne 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 neater than it came. Yeah, we try. <laughs> you, we try to do that. Yeah, you 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 you, you, you hit our uh, control panel. You're you're sweeping. Yeah, it, it's really hard sometimes because when we've got um, builders, mm -hmm. we can't do it unfortunately Aww. because they cover with the uh, concrete soil so we just like you know do our best right so our dashboard is all back together now everything is uh, all installed and all lovely neat and tidy so basically I've just parked up put the van into reverse but I can still take it in and out reverse or whatever and if I want to lock it I push and turn and that's now locked and clicked and if I want to take this out reverse it's on the clutch it does not want to come out and the only way to unlock it is with the key so if we put the key in the lock unlock it and now we can drive away now let, let, let me try you want to give it a go yes 
All right. So I'm the clumsy at test, so. Are you driving? <laughs> I can. Yeah. I don't That's like to. That's answer. <laughs> I didn't ask if you can. I said if you're driving. <laughs> if I must. <laughs> if you must. Okay. I, I do. I just don't. Uh, I like driving fine, but I don't like the other people on the road. They uh -huh. freak me out. So I usually leave Sam to them to drive. All right. Give it a go. All right. That requires me to know how to go in reverse. There you go. And this is why I don't drive. <gasps> I did it! So now try and take it out of okay. reverse. So do no, I... Just try and take it out of reverse. Oh, right. Okay, no, I can't. And then I turn there. Like yep. That. Cool. And there you go. What do you know? It does work. <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually really happy with that. that. That's actually really, really simple. And I like that you actually don't need to use the key on the, on this design. Um, yeah, on this one, to... yes. On some yeah. of them you will have to, but yeah. not on this one. I think it's important a bit that we haven't covered yet and uh, people will ask quite a lot. If you take the key out, okay. put it into reverse, There you go. Yep. And now there is a safety feature that prevents you accidentally lock it while you're driving. Okay. So if you're just pushing it or just try to turn it, it's not going to work. That's why you have okay. to do this maneuver of in and turn. Right. So if so, you just push it, so you just like push hit it. it or yeah, it doesn't want to turn. It, yeah, it doesn't lock. If you have to push and turn okay. to lock it, yes. Right. And then you have to use the key to unlock yeah. it, which is. Uh, uh, no, no. It turned the key the right way, I think. No? It doesn't... It shouldn't matter which way you're going. Okay. Ah, got it. We're good. There, there we you go. go. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, that that, 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 that is much easier than uh, we even hoped, to, to and be fair. So yeah, that's... It's, it's something that you should use all the time. Within mm -hmm. two weeks, you will get to the habit of, of locking it if you're continuously yeah. doing it. It has been a month since Bellock was installed and so far so good i would yeah. say we're using it the van is obviously still here which is <laughs> excellent you know five star out of five so yeah it has taken some time to get them used to making sure that we put it on every time we go out we kind of give ourselves a checklist now we're like we're always like is the step outside is the bucket outside are the cats in and then it's just <laughs> bear lock just no one it's, of it's reverse lock once you've got that thing in your head once you've got the process of reverse lock it actually works really good, much better than our steering wheel lock used to because we barely put that thing on. Stick until the end, we'll be doing a uh, <laughs> uh, lock versus lock test. So Speed test. Speed test, so stick around, but yeah. let's continue. But yeah, um, like we only really used to put the steering wheel lock on like when we knew we were going to be out of the van for an extended period of time. And it's like, okay, let's lock the steering wheel we're going to be out all day going on a hike or something like that the vulnerability of that security system is the time where you don't actually put it on it's it's more <laughs> human error and kind of human nature that yeah. is the flaw of most systems um no matter how good they are so um uh, it, 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 the moment, at the moment we're using it so it seems to be fit, fit, fitting for our needs and we are very lucky that the lock that we have does not require the key as i mentioned earlier does not does not require the key to actually lock it just requires yeah. the key to unlock it which makes it even even easier to use a good thing to note is that we did get multiple keys so we have three keys and we can basically ask for more should we need them i don't yep. think we'll need them uh yeah. but we have three keys so we've got one yep. basically on each keychain that we each carry and then we've got a spare and, key. and one mysteriously hidden somewhere in the van if you are happy to be a thief and would like to know you can ask our cast they're very good at finding these <laughs> things and the important thing is is that uh, we can call um the guys at the uh, theft stop and ask them for more keys Sh should we lose <laughs> all three keys or whatever happens then we can give them a call we can quote the numbers on our very very special secret yellow card and basically they'll ship us out a new set yeah uh, which is really handy yeah and it's not just limited to the uk as well like they can ship it out worldwide actually so no matter where you are i mean we'll we'll always have a key hidden in the van but just in case just as that precautionary measure we can get one sent out anywhere yeah because obviously a lot of us do travel outside of the uk and what's really convenient about this system uh, which is why we really liked it is that it 
it's also very very popular in Europe like uber popular like some countries I think it was like Netherlands or something yeah um, it's it's a insurance requirement for you to have a bear lock lock on your uh, gear stick because it's so so efficient and also getting these keys fabricated you can't just go into a local key shop and say can you replicate this key because it's a very specially made key you can't just go in and get it replicated which is also something else very secure about the system if someone does manage to figure out aha to drive this van I need a key in that lock so yeah so far so good uh, this system literally has all the little bits and pieces that we may want from a system yeah. um, that it's mechanical yeah actually I really love that it's mechanical because I don't <laughs> trust a lot of uh, uh, digital sort of Bluetooth <laughs> stuff because thieves nowadays know how to block you know um, uh, like Wi-Fi signal and 4G and all of that and Bluetooth and uh, anything electronic can yeah. be hacked. So we need to install a blocker, 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 blocker uh, to uh, <laughs> to block to the blockers of the blocking that, blockers. That part. Uh, <laughs> so it's like having something mechanical just gives me a lot of security. That uh, basically the error is ours and not basically some electrical mumbo jumbo. Yeah, I, I sound like a very old person at the moment. <laughs> So without further ado and more raving about it, uh, there is a 10% discount code in the description below. Just state Freedom Strider when you contact uh, the, the, the team at the uh, Theft Stop and they will give you 10% off. If you want it, the prices are on their site. There are different, like the locks and the prices are different for each vehicle. So, so do, do speak yeah. to them um, uh, because uh, they are fully booked most of the time <laughs> uh, and very busy. So just get in there as, as quickly as possible and just do, speak to them about your specific needs. And if you do have a vehicle that they actually haven't developed a lock for yet, they are still interested in your van. They said basically contact them and maybe you can be their guinea pig. <laughs> actually um you may speak to them about maybe going to the factory itself and getting it designed directly onto your van so hint hint there might be something they can do for you so go and speak to them because uh they're a great team and they will really help you with your van security uh and make it more custom to you now for the big test <laughs> Lock versus lock. Let's see who does better. Okay, so we've got a speed challenge. Lock versus lock. Stop lock versus bear lock. Right. Should we do the stop lock first? So the stop lock usually lives down here. Okay, we have a uh, stop watch. So stop lock first. I've parked up. So three, two, one. Okay, what have we got? 13 seconds, well 13.8. So 14 seconds, all right. 14 seconds is the time to beat. We're up to about 18 seconds, no, 17 seconds uh, for the whole rotation. Okay, 17 seconds. All right, so let's put it in neutral. Okay, bear lock time. So you ready? Mm -hmm. Three, two, one. Two seconds. And then to unlock it, hold on. Okay. Yeah. Uh, 4.8 seconds. So what's that, four times faster? Mic drop. 